All right, folks, in this video, we're going to take a look at these two ASRock Mini ITX motherboards. So I've got a Z490M-ITX and the B460M-ITX. We are uh, going to look at them side by side. Uh, we will look at the, uh, the top side view and the I.O. overview. Uh, so let's look at the back of the boxes real quick. Just so you guys can see them. Things that uh, are similar that we probably won't get into. Polychrome RGB, they both have that. We will look at both the I.O. Um, there are some differences there. Differences with the M2s, we'll get into that. And just because I'll probably forget the exact details. The Z490 has the Dragon 2.5 gigabytes per second LAN, okay? Where that one only has the regular one. So we'll, uh, we'll get into it. All right, so right side, Z490M, left side, B460M. Now these are uh, obviously meant for uh, 10th gen Intel CPUs, probably one day 11th gen. This is a LGA 1200 CPU socket and the chipset, once again, Z490 and the uh, B460. All right, so speaking about CPUs, obviously we're gonna be able to overclock here. We can overclock on the B460. That is a huge uh, difference between this. Now, if you're gonna buy a lock chip, maybe it doesn't matter as much. Let's talk about RAM. We both have two RAM slots, DDR4 288 pin. This one is going to allow you to overclock. And matter of fact, I have overclocked this guy, um, or I'm putting RAM that goes up to 4133 megahertz using the uh, XMP Profile 2.0. This one, we're, we're stuck at uh, either 2666 for an i5 and below or 2933 megahertz for an i7 and above. So um, I haven't messed with any timings. I haven't seen any information that really shows uh, people going above and beyond as stated. So, all right, let's get into this. Uh, things that they both have, obviously, a 24-pin power connector. You see it there. You see one that's actually uh, got it installed. USB 3.0 here. They both have that. This one has it installed right there. Um, four SATA 3 connectors and you see it on the B460. Down in the uh, the bottom right corner which is uh, where the other one's going to be too. You've got your front panel connectors right there and then a uh, USB 2.0. And you can see that over here. Of course, I'm setting the motherboard on it, hopefully not damaging anything, but front panel connectors and the uh, USB 2.0 there. Over here, we have PCI Express 3.0 by 16. This guy has it, but guess what? It's uh, got the armor plating, which uh, just looks like, I don't know, I guess that's aluminum. Um, 2M.2. So for me, this is freaking huge. This is worth paying $60 more just to have an extra M.2 on here. And obviously it's got this nice heat sink on it. Uh, of course, I haven't removed the uh, film on there yet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that has that. That's what it's going to look like over here. Okay. Not as attractive. All right. Over here. CPU fan header and a fan header and an RGB, same as what's over there. You won't be able to see it because CPU cooler's in the way. Uh, let's see, anything else? Um, that's really all the exciting stuff from, from this angle, folks. Okay, both of these have one by eight, so you're not going to be able to do any extreme um, overclocking of the CPU. Uh, this would have been the one you would have thought maybe would have it. Sometimes you'll see a uh, B460 or H470 will have uh, a 1x8 and a 1x4. All right, let's uh, look at the I.O. shields now. Oh, well, we're going to look at the I.O.s, not the I.O. shields. Nobody cares about looking at those cheap plastic things. So um, let's talk about what both of these have and what they don't have. Um, Z490 has two USB 2.0s. You don't see any of those on the B460. PS2 style connector, they both have that. DisplayPort HDMI, they both have that. Now, um, the newer ones got the newer style USB. 
um, USB 3.2. That one is a uh, Gen 1 Type A, where the other four are a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A. So they both have the same uh, audio connectors. You can see that there. Same type antenna uh, for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which this one does have antennas. I just don't have them in. LAN, this has the uh, regular old style Dragon Force here. This one, the B460, only has the regular LAN. Now, anything else stick out? No. That's about uh, the major differences. Uh, didn't say talk about the CMOS battery, but it is right there. And the same basically on the uh, B460. So that's going to do it, folks. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.